Yes, that's right. Elvis Presley. Es difícil decir algo de Elvis Presley que no se haya dicho antes. El rey del rock nunca ha dejado de estar en el radar de la cultura popular a pesar de haber dejado este mundo en 1977. Ahora en el 2022, el visionario director Baz Luhrmann nos trae a su interpretación de la vida de este extraordinario personaje. Quizás el reto más grande fue encontrar a quien diera vida a uno de los hombres más conocidos e imitados del mundo. La respuesta se llama Austin Butler, quien da una de las actuaciones más impresionantes de fecha reciente. I went down the road of the movie and I, in the back of my head I was thinking like, I'll probably be able, be able to get out of having to make this movie. I'll probably get away with not even do it because I'll never find someone to play Elvis. And it's not for me to say, but if you actually check the story, the way he wept playing that piano sending it to me, the loss of his mother at the same time as Elvis, the fact that he said he couldn't sing and he walks in he can sing like Elvis. I mean, uh, there's something not natural about the level of absorption and commitment. I mean, Denzel Washington ringing me, who I do not know, and saying, I've just worked with this actor on stage and I've never seen a work ethic like it. There was nothing normal about the way in which Austin became this character or went through the workshop. There's nothing normal about it. Well, first of all, it meant the world to me. I, uh, it, it, was, it was the honor of my life. I, I, I wanted to absorb every, everything that was out there, so... I watched every bit of footage that I could find and listened to every interview that is out there and uh, I read every book that had been written on Elvis and I just allowed myself to go down the rabbit hole for about two years where I didn't, I put the rest of my life on pause and, and I, that's all I did. But any time that it started to feel like a caricature or, or inauthentic in any way, then that was, you know, what I, what I just wanted to stay away from as much as possible. Ese punto es clave. Probablemente haya notado que el estilo de la película es muy distinto. No es una biografía convencional. Es un viaje audiovisual para intentar que las audiencias modernas entiendan cómo se sintieron las de hace más de 70 años cuando Presley invadió la conciencia colectiva. The iconic looks are, are pretty well documented photographically. So you start with those photographs and then we realized pretty early on that you couldn't just recreate things. Otherwise, um, it just became a sort of Halloween parody, which felt really wrong. You know, we're not making a documentary, so we needed to interpolate in the 50s some of the costumes, all taken from styles that Elvis actually wore. But Baz was really focused on making sure people knew he was a rebel. Otra sorpresa, Tom Hanks, uno de los actores más queridos, da una actuación sorprendente, pero, a diferencia de otras de sus películas, probablemente no provocará que la audiencia ame su personaje. Si me quieres, soy tu hombre. Y he pensado sobre eso, y creo que es porque he entendido esta relación tóxica que puede existir entre un manager y un artista, a nivel personal. Así que necesitaba un actor que pudiera jugar el rol a esa escala, y Tom se rechazó a eso, y creo que es parte de la razón por la que People find Colonel Tom Parker so disturbing is because he's also America's favorite actor. When your favorite actor goes bad, it's disturbing. Y no puede haber película de Elvis sin música. En este caso, el soundtrack es una mezcla de sus temas con música suya reinterpretada por otros artistas. Por ejemplo, el fenómeno masivo de Maneskin con su versión de If I Can Dream. I think that every artist nowadays, it's one way or another influenced by Elvis because he kind of created the way artists are pursued today so um, like being a star comes from Elvis. Yeah. Also I feel he's one of the first artists that really changed the rules in the music industry yeah. and he just went for what he liked and he did music that matters to him and not just what was like the most contemporary music at the time so that's like a big message and thing we also try to stand up for. Elvis es un viaje psicodélico audiovisual por la mente de un director para nada convencional, mezclado con actuaciones sobresalientes y el espíritu de una de las figuras más importantes de la música moderna.